Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of Umineko. Yeah, we're going to continue the story, we're going to see what kind of answers George and Jessica will give. And... Yeah. If they will actually make someone else die. That's all it comes to this, so... We'll see. Oh, the episodes of Umineko are getting intense lately. Also, I have bad microphone. Now should be better. I'm sorry about that. Probably it was like too loud or or something. Probably too loud, but should be fine now. So anyway, uh, let's go to the episode. Also, thank you for giving me some manga panels on Discord. Like in this fist bump scene, George looks badass. Actually, like George looks the best there. Also, thanks thanks for doing some research on Gap. Research good. Let's go. So yep. Let's go with the answer. So 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 I didn't change my settings here. Okay, that's, that, that's fine. <clears throat> As Jessica stared at the letter that had been crushed and lay on the floor, she hung her head in constant silence. And that filled the room. And that filled the room was uh, the stir from wind and rain shaking the tree drops. Regardless of how uh, noisy that was, it actually made the stillness more apparent. I have a feeling like it will be actually the loved ones they will choose. They all agree together that they will be first to smack the face of Kinzo. That was like the, a promise between them all. I don't know, maybe they will... Hmm. I don't know. I literally don't know what... what there's no answer. Ronova waited for Jessica's answer. However, Jessica didn't answer. Whenever she was lost in deep thought or had stopped thinking, Ronova couldn't tell. No, he might actually have known. But cruelly, like a demon, Ronova urged Jessica to voice it. Yeah, he already suspected that she chose Canon. She had to kill the loved one. That's fucked up. すべて痛みがないよう安らかに頂戴させていただきますんがさてせよおしちょうせるせふしちょうオプションワンおまがおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
死にたくて一番目を選んだわけじゃないさ二番のカノン君を死なせることやっぱこんなのもちろん論外いやだから除外三番のその他みんなの命こんなのももちろん論外だから除外そしたら一番目の選択肢しか残らなかった消去法ですか、uh, That's like the easiest solution for this like if you would like be in this in the situation and have the same test I think everyone would do the same everyone would like make the process of elimination like you don't want to kill your I don't know for example brother or your mother or your husband or your child or anyone else we love and you don't definitely want to kill like your whole family at the same time so if you have to choose you will have to choose yourself that's Yeah. After chuckling slightly, Ronova dropped his gaze. A human couldn't even imagine what answer Demon would have been expecting. All she could understand was that this was apparently slightly below Ronova's expectations. Okay. ごし失望しましたよ。自信を持って選べみたいなこと言っておいて、そうしてやったら失望とは自分勝手なやろうだぜ。うん。消去法というだけではないようですね。いずれにせよ、落第点ですが、もう少しお考えがあるようだ。if you speak it, then maybe it will high up your rank. I wonder. Is there is like there's some limit of like passing test, maybe 70%. And then if you pass, you don't die. If you don't pass, then you die. Huh. しあわせに行きたくてせいの限りを上がいてるんだぜだから本当はまず一番目なんてありえないはずなんだよしかしあなたは一番目の選択肢しかしかしあなたは一番目の選択肢しかしかしかしかしかしかしかしかしかしかし
Yeah, he would be like, you're a monster. I don't want to, like, have anything to do with you. そして私もまたいくらカノン君がいてもそのために見捨てた大勢の命が生涯十字架となって乗しかかってきたそしてその十字架はカノン君にまで乗しかかったいや、yeah, because you sacrificed everyone else so he could be alive and he would know that so it'd be like on him as well. He would be like he would be blaming himself for like why I'm in mean Jessica life. She sacrificed everyone for me. Like why? Atashiwa Kanonkun Jujika was so was it a mini or can a send up show it on that he was she night. Most so no go to see what I should eat and I see what I saw me I know that she will use another. Jessica had pictured it in her mind. The future had beyond each of the three choices. There were three Jessicas. Of the three, two had regrets. Only one could hold her high, her head high, head high and smile at Kanon. But I saw, Namaiki Nimo. Kanon could be secure, Stakoto Garze. She would not in sale. Yeah. yeah, it is. Like everyone is tied by different things. The ones you love, the family, friends, contracts, job. Everything. You may not find like time. You may not find time to truly live fullest. But you should try to be happy. You should be happy. You should live happy life. Oh, this episode is getting sentimental and stuff. カノン君に見せなきゃならないんだよ。胸を張って。お天道様を真正面から見て。思い切り笑顔でいられる生き方ってやつを。あなたの自己犠牲をカノンが受け入れられるでしょうか。あなたの身勝手な選択が余計に
she knows the true name of Kanon at this point. So in the episode 4 he, she knows this? In the episode 3... Or episode 2. Episode 2 I think. He was unable to tell her just before he died. He never told her his name. It was maybe episode 3. One of them. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm thinking too much. Yeah, the one that's not furniture. Yeah, canon. Yeah. Oh, and Kraus is here as well. He basically have to hear how his daughter is self-sacrificing for everyone else. He's about to hear how he, like, how he lose his daughter. Oh my god, the same loop for Josh probably. ロノウェは気まぐれですから伝言をしなかった可能性もありました。幸運でしたね。Oh, it's all for, from Vigila point, so no one knows about this. A massive three-sided mirror was set beyond the bars, and the sea with Jessica was reflected on it. They even see it. It's not just sound. On the next mirror, the scene with the George was reflected in the same way. None of them questioned how a three-sided mirror had appeared from a group of butterflies. Nor did they wonder why these scenes with Jessica and George were reflected on it. Because the reflected scenes themselves were more important. Feels guilty about this, as I thought. Kraus looked at Cannon with a complicated expression mixed in with a bitter smile. Kyle wouldn't would met his eyes. Oh. すべては丸子を収まるはずです。その願いを私に叶えることはできませんよ。これはジェシカの選んだ自らの選択なのですから。Yeah, now I remember I was supposed to check the five six. 506 or whatever her name was. At the time, suddenly the air speed and the Chester sisters appeared, flying into Virgil's chest. Even Chester sisters are crying. What the fuck is going on in this episode? I never thought I would see 410 crying, actually. Who would thought about that? <sighs> yeah, he just bullied them. You remember from the last episode? <sighs> I don't cry for you, I cry for Jessica, god damn it. Stop, I mean I'm not crying, god damn it, I'm not crying, I'm just like... Tapping something in my eye, like, it's kinda late, so... My eyes kinda like... Are dry. <clears throat> Virgila, who still uh, didn't have a clue what was going on was mobbed by the sobbing chisters. Let me check actually chisters sisters now. 
while I'm on this. Four ten. Forty-five and death should be five six. Zero zero. Ah. I don't see if five zero six or whatever her name was. Nothing in the description as well. Zero zero. That's supposed to be a hint, like who they are actually. But I never figured this out. Like when I first came like here on the tip money, it was supposed to have like tips for what they who they are. But I never figured this out. I know only did something with Pendragon, only Pendragon I know is the Arthur Pendragon, so like King Arthur and stuff, but I don't know. Also, nothing on 506. And apparently, 506 was also in that shooting scene in the uh, in the conference room or, or something. I don't know. It's. I don't know. I don't see anything about 506. Oh. I come down. Come down. They go to the lands, all uh, faced each other, nodding their heads. Dwaragilia, too. They took the Chester sisters and left. The sound of them going upstairs could be heard. So they had probably gone to an upper floor. They are, yeah, but they are strong as well. But actually, cannon should be able to kind of fight them. He realized that the opportunity had arrived, but even so, she hadn't thought of a way to break the metal bars. The Jessica reflected on the three-sided mirror, had her eyes closed, as though in con contemplation. I think Cannon will move. I think Cannon will try to break through and to help Jessica before she, ca she will sacrifice herself. So he will fight, he will just cut off the bars and together with Shannon they will fight all of the goats basically that's what i think will happen the way she had both hands stuck in her pockets wanting to be defi uh, defiant until the very end might have been her own aesthetic stance <laughs> Yeah, he can do that. He is like Genji. Or I would say Genji is like him. As Ron his palm, he slowly approached Jessica. Yeah. Is this going to be similar to Maria's death from episode 3? Realizing that his daughter was about to be healed, Kraus went half mad and rapidly body slammed the metra bars. The ghosts looked like they were sneering at how a mere human didn't stand a chance at breaking those bars. Kraus' pointless efforts certainly have made been, uh, may have been comical, but Kraus was giving it everything he had. He was now living with all he had as Jessica's father so that he could save her. Cannon made tight fists with both hands. If he used his cursed power, he might be able to cut through even metal bars. Yep, that's true. Also, this is the first time we got like 
called this power a cursed power. I don't think that ever was mentioned like that. <clears throat> but there were a full three goats. There was no way he could defeat three of them in an instant. It would uh, instantly be reported, and then even Vargilia and the Chester sisters would probably dash in. Even if he could break the bars, that would be the end of it. It was useless. Khan already knew that uh, the witch sneered at useless effort like that. So he could not. Uh, so he could not do nothing but stare at Kraus' repeated bodily sums. Shoji sama. Doji chose the same, right? Shao had been looking at the free slight sided mirror, and raised her voice. When they looked, they could see George who had been silent the whole time, leave his face. It seems that George also decided on an answer. Yep. Also one. ああ、決まったよ。それは揺るぎない答え。ああ、揺るぎないね。なら聞かせてもらうわ。ああ、ちなみにジェシカはどうも自分の命を差し出すことを選んだようだ。Wow, <sighs> He's going to. He's going to. I, Jessica and Kano will work together in the basement now. Jessica was Jessica's answer. He gave it. So it's the choice of which one to take. It's Jessica's answer. Yeah. Wow. Look at his face. He's he's like not okay with that. You can see. But yeah, that's no good answer. Every answer is good and every answer is bad at the same time. Boku no kotai ni nani mo kanshou shinai yo. So, nara aratame te kiku wa, ika ni kakageru mitsu no uchi. Futatsu o eru tame ni, hitotsu o ikenie ni sasage yo. Ichi, jibun no inochi. Ni, shanon no inochi. San, sore igai no zeyin no inochi. I'm thinking that might be Shannon. Shigaune. Cap looked like a little surprised. Because she had thought this timid looking man would obviously choose that option. Nara yokatta wa? Watashi ni totte ichiban taikutsu na sentakushi ga hazurete kurete yoka? じゃあ、まさかとは思うけど、二番シャノンの命を見捨ててみせる。Like knowing their personalities, like George is no sh knowing Shannon as well. He must be aware of that. Shannon will be like happy. It's I know this sounds fucked up and everything. Shannon is not canon. I mean, I no that that that's wrong. That's the same case as with canon. If you choose canon, then you have to feel like live with guilt. And in this case, in George case as well, killing Shannon is just leaving him, living with guilt. That's the same, that's the same, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just like... Mm. I don't know. I don't know. George, tell me. Masaka. Everyone else? Are you... Wait, what? Konya masa ni konyaku yubi wa okuro to yu aite wo. Dou shite boku ga. Yeah. Kore wa daitan da wa. それが君の答えなの。そうさ。Really? 
Okay, let's let's hear your reasoning. I'm really curious about George's reasoning on this one. How? You will have to live with the guild and Shannon will have to live with this guild. She will think about how George just killed Cannon, for example. Shannon and Cannon are basically uns like one thing. George just killed Cannon. Out of like all people that's like important for Shannon. I'm excluding for now like in this process like everyone else. Because they're pretty much important just for George. But in terms of like him and Shannon, that's also canon. And she will be kind of devastated about this. Josh took the third option. Everyone else lives. Unsurprisingly, Gap hadn't imagined that he would give an answer like that. She had been sure that he would choose the same as Jessica. So she was interested in how he had reached that answer. How he had reached an answer that he surprised in the imagination of the 33rd rank of the 72 demons. Which rank was thrown over? Which rank was run over? 29? I don't know. Also, yeah, research good. Yeah, and what with the rest, grandkids? What with Butler and Maria Test? Then, if everyone dies now, then there's no game. Yeah. Yeah, that's I just realized that uh, Gap have this little like shield on uh, her bow and I'm starting to wonder if I saw this anywhere or not wait let me just like really fast check the cheaster sisters maybe do you have that you're kind of military so no you don't have it okay never mind huh Okay, not elimination, so we just came to this conclusion. George faced the demon as he spoke, almost as though he was disgusted. Okay. Oh, that's his reasoning. Whoa. He's reading off enemies that's kind of dark i would say that's dark reasoning holy shit what shannon will think about this oh my god この島に訪れたその時から自分は生涯妻の味方であり続けるということだ僕にはその時点で彼女のために世界の全てを敵に回す覚悟があるんだ。What a resolve, holy shit. These words, through the three-sided mirror also reached Shan's ears. And that determination reached her eyes. Shan certainly had promised to be given an engagement ring tonight. Then, this incident had occurred. And she hadn't been able to receive the ring. But now, even though it wasn't in the form of the ring, Shan had received something even greater. And as proof of that, a single tear 
with a small sparkle as a diamond. Drip down. Wow! <laughs> what the reasoning? <laughs> George just surprised me. I didn't thought that would be his reasoning. I personally, I cannot predict anyone answers in this. If Butler and Maria will have like similar tests, then I cannot predict their answers. I have no idea. There's too many things that they can say. God damn it. Wow, and his closest family is actually dead, that's true. So he sacrifices relatives, but not like his own like closest family. Sure, he is killing like Maria. Jessica, Butler, his siblings. But everyone else is probably like family, but like kind of whatever for him. I would say. And on the other side of shelf we have like laugh of his life. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I don't have like some program that is like eye tracking my sight on the screen right now. Won't tell you why. なるほどね。これは簡単な選択だったわ。何とでも言うがいい。これが僕の。そして。how many points do you have for that? Is this enough? Is this enough to get gain a successor title? The sparkle in George's eyes was brilliantly sharp. For just an instant, Gap felt the same sense of threat as Kinzo's and was slightly overwhelmed. Oh my god. Holy shit! Okay, George!君も、あどけなさそうな顔して、将来はとんだ悪魔になるわけね。ああ。なんだ。私たち、とても<笑> Gab had needed to charge, uh, needed to change her opinion on George. This man bore a determination resolve unimaginable from his outward appearance. And not just now, but since the very beginning. Also, does that mean that the rest of the test will never happen? Like Butler and Maria? I mean, he pretty much is confident on everything about about stuff. You could just proclaim him as a next head of the family at this point, I guess. Yeah, He's not even wavering. Okay. Yeah. Wow, going into Kinzo mind now. Wow, what a proclamation. Wow, George. I have to give it to George. Like, George in this episode is great. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Kimiwa do yara, kanari 
Okay, so the ones who will be alive will still have chance. Okay, so that's not like everyone will die instantly. I think the choice will count only if uh, he will pass. So everyone is safe for now, but if George passes, then everyone dies instantly, basically, pretty much. And I think it might be the same for Jessica. But for Jessica it's kind of weird. I mean, if she wins then she dies, so it doesn't matter, so she should die exactly at this moment. Anyway. I would say so. That's a good question. Can you do this yourself? It's like with the stakes. It's like with seven stakes of Purgatory and Angie. Can you kill them? If you can't kill them, then can't we? So it's a question for George. Can you kill them? Can you kill Butler? Can you kill Cannon? Jessica? Maria? Can you kill 9 year old kid? Or 12? Oh my god. I'm... Okay, not, not going into age again. I would just have in my mind the correct age. Whoa! I would like to see this face in the manga panel. That is scary. Okay. I think that George might be the crazy person of the episode 4. We had Rosa in episode 3. No, sorry, Maria in episode 3. Rosa in episode 2. So now it's time for George getting into like crazy side. Oh crap. That's... Ooh. Okay, I'm kind of scared of this scene. Uh, oh shit. Can you though, or are you just playing? <laughs> Oh my god, we're playing Happy Maria. It's Happy Maria, right? <laughs> Can you play Happy Maria? Can you play Happy Maria? This man who truly was fitting to succeed Kings of Madness. Wait, there's no way that's happening. I need to make some kind of picture in the Photoshop and post on Discord before I put this episode on. As a teaser. Oh my god, that's so good. In response to the demon call, a tempest raged more and more. Then a massive lightning bolt fell, its staring thunder and brilliant light, giving the sensation of a moment of silence. It actually depends how this episode will go on. Maybe I will maybe I will not do what I want. 
It depends how it will go. その殺害の順番だけど、僕が決めていいわけだよね。シェットクッション。どうぞご自由に。新しき六軒島の魔王兵。あなたの御心の赴くままに。とりあえずさ、その一番目が君になるわけだけど、<笑>いいかな。Oh, that's so good. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, George is amazing. George is amazing. He just created situ a situation when he can, like, Execute basically everyone outside of who he don't want to execute. Like he can just go kill Kinzo and everyone else and just let everyone else like, yep, yeah, I just played that. Like I just killed like everyone we don't like. Oh my god! Holy shit! What a mastermind! Seriously, George is George is like a star of this of, of this episode. <laughs> Whoa, that's a new that that's new background. That's new background. That's a new background. A gust of wind blew, stirring up George's jacket as if it was a cloak. It was very much like a cloak worn by the head. It definitely carried that impression of dignity. At that time, Gap truly did see the storm wiped away, and the sky covered with a pure, white and vast full moon. The man who called himself the new head bore the full moon on his back and sneered at the demon. I have chills, oh my god. That's so good. うしろみやけ親族のすべての命さえも今や僕の財産だそれに損害を出してくれた賠償安くは済まないよジョージ<笑> genius oh my god you're mad genius 僕の両親に夏日おばさん夏日おじさんローザおばさん you killed everyone oh my god he created a situation where he can like just take a revenge. He just played them. Oh my god. So she Genji san no inochi o ubatte oite. Kono boku ga minogas to honki de omotte no kai. I think I will still do the Photoshop stuff, but maybe not in the way I I don't, I don't know. He is a demon. He is the okay, he's a dem demon king. Okay. He's a demon king. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ronaldo was trying to press his palm against Jessica's chest and stop her heart. But right before he could, his hand stopped. On the carpet at their feet. One, two. Small red flowers bloomed with a plop plop. The seed of those flowers was way up high. Wait, what? Piercing into the heavens. On Jessica Feast? Wait, what? Her another nose was stained red with spewing blood. That's a new soundtrack! That's a new soundtrack! And those drops had been dripping into the carpet. What the fuck?! Oh my god, 
Oh my god, this is going into like totally unexpected rounds. What the hell? Did she? Betting my own life. Jessica knew. She knew that in order to protect her family, her father had bluffed and fought alone continuously. Jessica understood something that his back had been telling her. Another left stride was buried in Ronova's face. That terrifying strike wasn't due just to the brass knuckles she was using. Wait, what? She have a brass knuckles? It was a strike of a person, a family head, who could throw away everything in order to protect. She's beating the shit out of Ronova. What the fuck? What? Oh my god, I don't know what I should edit out for this god teaser. What is this? Okay, can, can I have this part in manga panel as well? Thank you very much. Holy shit! Plus 10, so it's 17. <laughs> 70. Oh my god, Ronova, you are very strict examinator. Oh, plus 10, okay. That's 80. As I never jump backwards. Summer assaulting in middle. <laughs> oh, he violently wiped away the blood pouring from his nose. It had become the not blood, but petals of red rose. The blood on his face was wiped off, and in its place it was a green filled with the light he hadn't felt in so many centuries that he couldn't remember. <laughs> Okay, how the hell Jessica would be able to like fight against Ronova in like equal terms? There's no freaking way. He's probably just going to dodge stuff. They're going to actually fight demons, what the hell? What? Suddenly beneath George's feet, a pitch black pitfalls opened in mouth wide. Of course, George had no way of resisting. After being swallowed up by that, George fell out of a pitch black hole that had opened up in the ceiling of the arbor. Whoa! Uh, where's the clear button? Here. Are these heels like having like some kind of like blade here or something? And I think like this uh, soundtrack will have to go away. Or being muted or being like hidden. I'm sorry, uh, but probably YouTube will hate this one, so. I have a feeling like that. It's probably ZTS or die. Probably ZTS. I will have to do this like I will have to like do more research on gap like in the future. Definitely. As George fell down, he was hit by a reverse roundhouse kick from a, sh a sharp silhouette heel, like a strike from a carefully aimed B. Whoa. That was the jump. 
Then he stabbed George after being blown out of the arbor. For that, he would be swallowed up by the rose bush. Another pitch black hole opened there and swallowed George up. At this time, a pitch black hole opened the gap feet before her eyes, spitting a defenseless George out of it. At the time, Gap had already finished her preparatory motions for the next reverse Harald's house key. <coughs> Did she like took some lessons from Chuck Norris or something? Whoa! What? Wow! Look at that face! She's delighted! Holy shit! She likes it! And... I like... Maybe not... Depends on what we are talking about. Whoa! Josh is like probably bleeding as hell now. Right side of the head, below the right arm armpit, side of the right knee. As Gap danced and spun like a small cyclone, she kept hitting him. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, with successive roundhouse kicks. The fourth one became a sweep, cutting George's feet uh, out from under him and making him fall down. But of course, there was no floor there, but a pinch black hole, and George was swallowed up once again. Gap once again spun around like a small cyclone. George once again spat out from the ceiling of the nearbor. That's a close up. I thought for a second that she had a mole under her eye, but it was just something on my screen. That's not how this test works, Gap. You are not supposed to kill the grandkid here. That's not how it works. He chose everyone else. What the fuck? I would understand Jessica dying, actually. But in George's case, that's not how it works. The sharp strike of the Queen Bee pierced the heavens like a rising cyclone. It kicks through George's lower chest as he fell from the ceiling. And then time froze. George was pinned in the middle by Gap's right leg. Wait, is George like actually going to die? Wait, what the fuck? <coughs> Still pinned in the middle, George moaned. Then Gap with George still hung on her foot. Grinned. <laughs>見とめてあげるわ。君の態度だけは一人前よ。でも力が伴わなきゃダメだわ。知ってる？この世を滑るには三つの力が必要だそうよ。一つは権力、一つは財力。最後は何か知ってる？本で読んだよ。暴力。
this episode have so many music that I will have to butcher kinda probably. Oh my god. But this soundtrack are so good. Let me know in the comments what kind of soundtrack are these. I will try to leave a little bit of them. Let me know what the names of the soundtracks are. Or you can like pause them. Like give me a link. I mean, you can leave links on the Discord, but I don't think you can link on comments. Actually, no, you can link on the comments. I would just have to like approve the comment because lately I got some spams in the in the comments when I had like links approved like automatically. So I will have to just click OK on any comment with the link. So yeah, that's the case. Anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments like what what soundtrack we have in this episode. There was like two or three new soundtracks, I think. She have literally... Oh my god. I can actually see this. Like, this fits Jessica. Being like, like a brawler. Also, it kind of reminds me of Yang from Ruby. I don't know, if you ever saw uh, Ruby, the series, you can check like some of my reactions for this show actually on the channel. But yeah, it's from Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth. And there's also the blonde character, which is like melee combatant basically. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. I, I was reading and I didn't realize that her face changed. Oh my god. This is good. I'm on board with Jessica. I'm on board with Jessica. Jessica's just fighting the freaking demon. I mean, George as well. But... I don't know, I cannot just... Like, I have a feeling like fighting against Ronove is like... Another level of accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, he's just dodging. Ronova dodged skillfully, jump back and avoid the Jessica Fist. But he still didn't strike back himself. Because of his dodge, that was as rapid as fluttering flag flo blown by strong winds. Jessica Fist wasn't even able to touch him. Amid the sensation that her own blood was boiling, Jessica regained her offensive composure. Even though this room was large for a bedroom, it was a very crowned place. To keep up as exaggerated dodges in for long. Also, where did she get that these knuckles? Where did she get that, these knuckles? When? Who gave it to her? She always had it? Was it hinted like in some previous episodes? And I just don't remember that? Let me know in the comments. Maybe, maybe I'm just like not realizing that that they were like mentioned somewhere. Oh. Uh, yeah. She calmly realized that and started using not just her fist, but her legs as well. Yeah. Nice. Nice comeback. This is great. Oh my god. This episode have more surprises than I thought. Jessica began cornering Renove towards the wall with perfect footwork. She didn't let him get around her. Renove's magnificent dodges looked flashy, but they needed to a large footing. Once cornered, he wouldn't be able to dodge anymore. Jessica knew the characteristics of her weapon, the brass knuckle very well. This powerful weapon, most notable characteristic, was how it didn't give the opportunity a chance to defend. Even if they blocked their arms, that arm would receive direct damage. If it hit the wrong way, it might even break the bone. So she could not corner him. With this fist, she would whittle away at this demon who had lost any way to escape. What? Oh, it's Oh 
Oh my god. Is Jessica doing really? Oh my god. Is she going to actually. Oh my oh my god. That's just my piece of Ronova. You just lost your like. I don't know what I want to say, sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go like <laughs> Like he's blocking, Jessica is like, oh my god, this is, what a fury, what the, f that's so good, oh my god, <laughs> I love Jessica now, I love her so much. Ronova had blocked Jessica face with his arm. He tried to act as though it was not a big deal, but must have hurt a lot. <laughs> Jessica grinned, Ronova smiled the same way, but twitched slightly. Not これを確かに痛いですね。最終勧告。泣いて詫びろ。これ but there was no a resistance that seems too hard, and the sound of breaking glass, which startled Jessica. Oh, he's like, oh, you activate my trap card. At a glance, it looked like Ronova had cut Jessica's fist with his palm. That wasn't quite true. Oh, he have a shield! <gasps> what a cheater! <laughs> when Ronova opened his hand, a faint purple glow barrier like glass shield appeared, stopping the attack by a hair bre brief. Oh my god. She forced him to use magic. She forced him to use some kind of shield. <laughs> wow. Just forcing, as a human, forcing demon like that to use actually magic to defend himself. That's like one of the. I think. I don't think you can like get bigger accomplishment than that. Oh my god. Pulling herself together, Jessica let her fists fly again, but with a truly magnificent gesture, Ronova cut all of them. Yeah. うん。うん。悪魔だから、まだ戦い続けることができる。おかしな真似を。それで終わりですか。攻撃を繰り出すばかりで、ご自身の防御がおろそかではありませんか。おお。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん
George made such a good thing at the beginning. But seems like he failed on the physical attempt. And Jessica is like... Uno card, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe I will edit up the some clip of from Ruby and edit like Jessica face onto it. I don't know. Probably I will do that. Yeah, that would be good. Oh my god. It will take some time. But uh, uploading this episode will take some time as well because there's a lot of music. Gap looked down on the George, sneering. George was on the path in the rose garden, lying face down in the puddle. Oh, poor George. The merciless rain beat down on him, so that it looked as though even the heavens were mocking him. <laughs> What's George gonna do? Is he going to surprise us? Or is he going to just... Just lie like this. After all that speech, after everything, he will just fail. Is this Toby going to like totally reverse Uno on both of them? Like he was like the most successful at the beginning and he will just lose everything. And Jessica was like a loser. Loser in quotes. And then she get Uno and just stand up for everyone and everything. What's going to happen? George stood up shakily. It seems his spirit hadn't given in, but the damage done to his body was fairly significant. That's what Jessica is doing, actually. <laughs> He wouldn't be much of the head of the family if he do that, though, so I don't think that's for him. そしたら君を力を愛して<笑> Uh. <laughs> What's his answer? George didn't answer. But his gaze was still obstinately resisting surrender. Gap's strength was evident. That was probably clear, even more than it was to George himself. To Shannon group watching through the three sided mirror. <laughs> and we have die music again. Oh my god. They all see this as well. Oh my god. Shannon, don't kill yourself. I'm begging you. Just don't do that. Oh my god. Don't, don't, don't know. <laughs> there was no way that voice could have reached George. But even so. George answered. いやだね。僕は屈服しない。へえ、どうして？それが僕の覚悟だからだ。僕は社能のために全てと戦う。全てに。what a man, god damn it. They are both amazing, George and Jessica. I cannot decide who's better in this episode. 
The calmness of George and the rage of Jessica is so well presented here. Both have the same amount of resolve, but like targeted in different ways. This is so good.人を愛するとは強さだ。それを知ったから僕は強くなれた。シャノン、僕は君を愛している。その言葉だけで僕は何度でも立ち上がれるんだ。シャノンは力をよ。私に愛を語られても。いや、伝わった。それが愛だからだ。シャノンには今僕の言葉が聞こえているよ。そうだと信じられることこそが愛だ。こいつ。シャノン、君は家具なんかじゃない。家具だったとしても世界でただ一つの。<laughs> we just went from like epic, oh my god, we just went from epicness from Jessica fights to sadness of Jones, oh my god. Oh, oh Mineko, what are you doing with my brain? Stop messing with my emotions. Oh my god. I'm begging you. Oh. <sighs> my eyes are tearing because I'm... Uh. <sighs> Tired. Tired. <laughs> The fucking soundtrack. Shoji-sama. Yakeru wa? Kudoki nara uchi no hito o koeta wa ne? Wa... Wakasate-sama. Oh... Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
What an episode! Holy shit! Oh fuck! George! Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't end that episode like 20 minutes ago. I'm so glad I'm continuing this. Oh my god. It could be an entirely different episode. But it's so fitting well together. Like, the answers to the test and this after this. Oh my god. Oh. The thing blocking gap vision was the bottom of George's. <laughs> Shoo! Sok Togeri. What is this? Oh my god, this is fourth, fourth new soundtrack. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> That's so good! Ah. What? Why are you talking like... I don't know. <laughs> It had stopped right in front of the tip of cap nose. What the fuck? He's such a te oh my god! What a technique! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Several moments after cap jumped back, of course it was too late. If George hadn't stopped, he would probably have caused the damage he now announced. And then he Anger with a low boiling point isn't something to be truly feared. True anger is disciplined by fortitude. It will take a lot of time to put this episode up. I'm sorry if this is like very late or it's the single only episode of Umineko in this week. I'm very, very sorry. But there's a lot of things that I will probably have to like change and I mean music come on YouTube will not let me upload this otherwise unless it will I don't know we'll see oh my god また婚約者と両親への名誉毀損も理解したそしてそれを撤回する気がないんだね <laughs> a pitch black hole appeared uh, its mouth at George's feet. But George rapidly opened his legs, straddling the hole. The same move won't work again. It was extremely smooth dodge, and the upper part of his body didn't even quiver. What the hell? Oh my god, these fights. Guys, show me at least like just a few, just, just a little bit of these fights in the manga. Just, just a little bit, you don't have to like post everything. Just like one or two panels. These are epic. What a fortitude, what a... Jessica and George, you are going up in that year list, like holy shit. What you are showing now, not only like in like physical attempts, like fighting against demons and stuff, but like pure sh sheer, sheer like fortitude and resolve that they have. With this and and like everything that's around this, this is so fucking good. Oh my god! わかんないわよ。反撃して、きっちり借りを返し、二度と直海を出したくないと思わせ。
死体を地面にこすりつけて何度も謝りたくなるほどに完膚なきまでに完璧に叩きのめすためだよ<笑> He sounds like an anime character, literally. Josh dashed. Pit was opened, one after another. But Josh didn't step in them again. And because he was pre persistent, he was able to reach Gap in the second time. <laughs> He's announcing damage before doing this. What the hell? I love George. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Wow, and Gap is like, what the fuck? He just passed my defenses. It was stretched out more forcefully and beautifully than Gap's had been. Of course, while it sent her directly at Gap's face, it stopped her bird with the way. Perhaps she couldn't rely on pitfalls at this close range. Gap kicked at her George uh, Sheen's as a diversion. And in an instant of weakness, when he tried to deal with that, she aimed a kick at his stomach. It was a bee like stab by her seal to heal, but it sliced through the air where George no longer was. Jordan <laughs> Kakadotoshi. I love how he's announcing that stuff. I just love it. I don't know what I have in my mind when reading this. Probably some kind of like mixture. I mean, just the phrase. Just the phrase. I have like in mind some kind of mixture of like Mortal Kombat <laughs> and Bucky. <laughs> I don't know. And something else that's like very intellectual. <laughs> Gap was like, like, she had another face, new face she had. By Gap's side, George Carmen announced that his foot still raised. In the monarch heel, had swung down. A collarbone fracture would probably have been at the, le at the least of her worries. You are demon, come on! You can use magic probably, yeah, like Ronova, you can just use shields, I guess. You are not that. Like, Ronova is 29, I guess, and you are 33, so you should be able to use magic. Come on. Ronova is doing that. She jumped backwards to open a large gap between them. Also, the soundtrack is like killing me. Like, it fits, but it doesn't fit. I don't know, it's, it's crazy. She jumped and jumped and leaped, and even flipped in the middle, increasing that distance. Okay, that's that, that music actually fits to that. <laughs> it, should have been, it should have been magnificent, but for some reason, it was very similar to the moves of the small, scared animal. If she opened the distance between them, she would be able to fight at the rage that uh, was spe her specialty, using a mixture of pitfalls and kicking techniques. Bakaga. When she magnificently landed and tried to aim a pitfall, a razor sharp wind cut Gap's bangs. Yes, it cut them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it happened twice. This time it didn't stop a hair brief. But away, uh, has been breath away, but scattered her bangs with the air pressure. Armada con Marutero. I, I cannot comment. I cannot. Dai ichigeki de gante kosset. You know what it? Oh, it reminds me also of kind of like Sanji from One Piece. What the fuck? I have like like total mix of like everything together in my mind. Like what the fuck? <laughs> it sound it sounds like the name of the food. That's why I thought about Sanji now. <laughs> what? Cap was too shocked to speak. 
Josh had uh, close in over all that distance in an instant, letting off a fearsomely nimble meter double kick. <laughs> Furthermore, with the accuracy and edge of uh, edge of Razor, it has cut nothing more than several of her banks. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh, I cannot deal with this episode anymore. Oh my god. Oh fuck, yeah, she wanted like for George to learn everything. She wanted him to be perfect. That makes sense. She would like him to like learn some stuff that to like self-defense and, and even like beat some shit out of people probably too. <laughs> even if he was like so stoic and everything. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Like you don't need to like physically beat someone to unconscious to show your dominance basically. He just showed her like I'm superior in terms of power. You just bow down. Stand down, Gap. I'm a master here. Yeah. Yeah. In short, this is what he meant. This was why all Josh attacks up until now, up uh, until then, had stopped a hair breath away. These bare misses, which were more difficult than hitting directly, had all been perfect, uh, performed so splendidly. Splendidly. Splend splendidly. Also, if George had wished it, any of those would probably have crushed Gap. He had, daringly, not done that. Power to control, he controls his power. He controls where he kicks, how he kicks, and he's doing it perfectly. That's so good! Oh my god! Boryokuani Gap had to admit it. She had to admit that George understood force in its truest sense. Yeah, but Wow, really? You're going to just, just, just like that? Just call some troops? Are you serious? Oh shit, we have goats. Oh fuck. That. Oh shit, and with. Oh, okay. Um. That's a problem. Actually? As a large pitch black hole opened in the sky, three muscular go attendants fell out. They surrounded George. Zoenkai? <laughs> She's not faced. Yeah, human like like fuck his human like he's some kind of demon, Jessica as well, I swear, like what the hell? Yay, the power of love is back. <laughs> What is this? 
Gab, this is not how this test was supposed to work. You are not supposed to like kill him if he chose something else. <laughs> I mean, he chose third option. He clearly stated third. It's not like he just changed his thought. I mean, he said he would like to kill you first. <laughs> He also sounds like a robot. He's so calculated. He's he really sounds like some kind of like android or something. Ingo wa kimi no kogeki ni hitoshi bun dake kimi ni jitsugai ga oyobu koto o sengen su. Gabu, oh my god. Boku o mada kogeki suru tsumori nara sou no songai o ukeru koto ni naruto. Oh, <laughs> Josh have chilled. <laughs> when Josh proclaimed that, a faint red magic circle rose up around him. Without love, you cannot see it. It seems that George couldn't see it. However, Gab being a demon could. Counter attacking type. I'm sorry, I I'm losing this in this episode. I'm losing this. I'm losing this. I cannot. From a demon perspective, that may be that have been a magic. That may have been a magic, but in George eyes, it was determination. Maybe it's the same. Magic, determination, same stuff. Come on. If we de deny magic, then determination is really magic. Like it was a determination. Feel to certainly. Certainty. Hmm. Lambda Delta? Hmm, maybe? Hmm. Which would be mercy merciless to anyone who wished to fight anymore. And uh, which would force them to prepare for a significant counterattack. Determination with certainty becomes magic. Whoa, that face. Okay, Jessica. Come on, you have to... You have to break through Ronova defenses. Ronova, I love you, but please get beaten. <laughs> by Jessica. <laughs> oh my god. Ronova had been accurately blocking Jessica's fist with his shield. But something felt odd. Even though he was certainly catching them on the shield, <laughs> he felt his arm get jarred and it hurt. It should have prevailed all physical damage. <gasps> Jessica have the same type of. Oh my God! George have the George have a shield that Shannon have, and Jessica have the blades that have cannon. So he blocking physical attacks from Jessica, but he cannot block the blades from her fist. Oh my God! However, the damage from her fist was gradually being transmitted to his arm, peeling up. Ronova tried to act like it was composed. So that this wouldn't be noticed. へへ。私は罰ねえぜ。どうしたよ、さん。ちっとは答えてきたかよ。いくら攻撃しようとも無駄ですよ。私のシールドはあなたには砕けないと。どうして分かる砕けないからってよ。殴るのをやめはしない
I don't think like in any episode before I just lose my mind like this. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it, this episode is not that amazing for you. Let me know in the comments. Maybe it's amazing for you. Are you with me? Are you crazy like me with this episode? Are you crazy? Write down in the comments. The comments. Crazy. If you are crazy like me. Those words were probably aimed at Canon. Canon who was seeming to reject Jessica Ward. But Jessica knew that no matter how stubborn his heart was, those words would finally soak through. She believed that they would surely reach his heart. That day would come when he would stop calling himself furniture and dis uh, dispraging himself. And that he would step out into a new life. So Jessica didn't give up. She didn't lose heart. <laughs> and the timer of Mr. Tony saw. He saw the reddish glow of light that en encircled Jessica Fist. <laughs> it looked at his Okay, it wasn't like a. It was. It, okay, it was not a blade that Catelyn have, but it was a magic, okay? It was again. Shield, but I think that she's projecting it in her fist or something. I don't know, this is crazy. Enchantment. Inside her, oh my god, I cannot read. Oh. <sighs> Inside her unrelated fist and determination. But the power to succeed no matter what. From a demon perspective, that was magic. Determination with certainly becomes magic. <laughs> oh my god, are they going to lose at the end? I have a feeling like they will lose anyway because they're fighting against demons. They they are not even serious yet. <laughs> That's the longest episode. Holy shit! It might be the only episode of the week. That's so long. There will be so many problems with uploading this. But hey, it's extra, extra long, probably. I'm an idiot, so this is the only way I can live. But even so, I'm sure I will be able to teach Kanon-kun about a new world someday. So I'm gonna lose heart in a place like this. I'm not gonna lose heart in a place like this. I'll definitely defeat you and save everyone. <laughs> Krauss also like full popped up. Come on, Shannon, Cannon. You have like, you must act. You see the determination that the, that your other halves have for you and for everyone else. You have to act. It's your chance now. I mean, yeah, this is kind of bad that we have like Kinzo upstairs and Virgila and Chester sisters, but I maybe it's actually bad to try to get out of this basement, but this is also a chance, like having morale up. I don't know what they should I don't know what this should do. I don't know. Like Chester sisters and Virgila sounds like a very bad idea to 
go against. Even with Shadow and Cannon. Kraus was simply repeating his useless effort to somehow open a hole between the metal bars. Useless. Nothing is useless. There's nothing. <laughs> the look now golds had been swallowed up by those black pitfalls and disappeared. Oh, she took the she took the cards from the cell. What an idiot! <laughs> now that was their once in a lifetime chance. This was their only chance to break the bars. <laughs> いや、ジャスペンズでバースソウサウサウスモールピープルケンゴアウト。この段階に至っては出ない知恵を絞るより行動あるのみね。力を合わせましょう。私カノン君、男の子でしょ。手を貸して。カノン君。いや、he's going to cut through. Just a voice had reached Canon. It certainly had permitted that into his cold, rock like heart. And Joe's voice had reached Shannon. If the love he had shown was embodiment by strength, she would have to respond in the same way. Yep. An incredible metal uh, sound rang out. Rang out. In the first, in the first flash, several metal bars were severed horizontally, and in the next flash. They were severed out horizontally again, causing many metal bars to clatter to the ground like bamboo shoots cut by the sword. Kraus, Kiri, and Nanjo didn't even have a clue what had just happened. And personally, I have no fucking clue how I will try to explain this in some kind of a fury in the episode 4. I. I. I don't. <laughs> I don't know when to end the episode. I have literally no idea where to end the episode. Holy shit. I, I could end here because we... But we still have the fights. Oh my god. I don't know. Just a little more. Maybe we'll stop like... I, I... Oh. Oh. すぐに悪ギリア様に気づかれます。あんたたちは一体何なの？いや、good question。僕たちは。When Kano hung his head a little and faltered, Shannon slapped his shoulder, smiled and spoke. 